Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Natomba Brajin. I'm from Uganda, uh, the founder and the managing director of Smart Kitchen Solution, um, a social enterprise that is providing renewable energy for cooking. Did you know that the most contributing thing in the world to carbon emission is polluting fuels? I grew up in a loving and caring family where we enjoyed cooking and shared lots of food. Chako, known as Amanda in my mother tongue, was the only alternative to run to because we couldn't afford electricity and gas. Due to the high costs of Chako, spending more than a quarter of our daily income became a problem during the COVID-19 pandemic of 2020 that my mother was, was uh, forced to reduce meals from three to one. So this really triggered my mind to look for a solution. And along the way, I realized that it's not only us, but due to the massive increase of deforestation, low and middle income households are concerned in urban and semi-urban areas are concerned that the increasing charcoal prices present a risk of their financial stability. According to the World Bank report in September 2020, over 4 billion people still use polluting fuels for cooking. That's to say firewood and charcoal. Yet they are made out of trees. Carbon emissions are being produced while burning them. You can imagine. And in Uganda, over 95% of the population use firewood and charcoal as their main source of energy. In urban centers, 75% of the population uh, use charcoal as their main source of energy. According to the Uganda Bureau of Statistics, that the population is growing annually 3.3%. So you can imagine how big the population and the demanding is increasing. So it's not only that, also the smoke produced while burning this charcoal, it produces, um, it produces smoke which predisposes people to respiratory diseases like asthma and lung cancer. So Smart Kitchen, we provide a solution by producing briquettes as an alternative to charcoal uh, made from organic agricultural waste and water hyphen that is that covers a plant that covers Lake Victoria. So we partner with women in communities to collect waste and youth from Lake Victoria that collect water hyphen and sell to us hence increasing the rate of employment opportunities as well as improving their financial stability. So it is these raw materials that we use in our production process that even though there are raw materials, but also there are problems that we are, that are being faced in our communities, that the waste is being disposed of on a daily basis, and then the water hyphen is becoming a problem on the, uh, it's affecting the water transport on Lake Victoria. So this, through using these components, it makes our briquette to be smokeless, clean, affordable, and burns long for four and six hours. So our customers are able to save 40% while using our briquette compared to the normal charcoal. And a kilogram of briquette saves four kilograms of carbon emissions. One ton of briquettes saves 80, 80 trees. So I, you can imagine if at all, uh, most of the population embracing our product, how will our country look like, even globally? And currently, our customers are able to hear about us through our social media platforms, um, local radios, door to door, and Zimbamat. And they're able to get our product through the retail shops, distributors, the door-to-door door, uh, door door sales. Through our production process, uh, we start with collection of waste, uh, the water hyphen as I explained, and also we dry it, we take it for carbonization. Carbonization is a process where we burn the waste in absence of oxygen but turns into black. So we crush these burnt materials, uh, uh, burnt materials, then we 
mix it with um, uh, we mix it with the binder and also and also the filler so as we, uh, then we take it for drying in the solar dryer and after it's packaged in an eco-friendly um, packaging and then taken to the end user so to the end user right now we are mostly using door-to-door -door cells and we are working with youth that uh, get a discount on each kilogram of bracket so at the end uh, currently the most challenge that we are really facing is meeting the market demand because um, we have machineries that are manual, that is the crusher, mixer, and uh, an extruder, which we got from one of the community members through the customer discovery we did last year um, in May 2021, that he was able to give them to us so that they can really help us really understand the product, improve it more through the feedback of the customers, until we get our own resources but right now we are looking forward to how best can we scale up our production capacity and it is something it is the most challenge that we are really facing so we um we need your support but apart from seeking your support so far we have been able to get three um retail shops where we sell our product and then we have two distributors that we do business to business and also we have generated a revenue of 300 350 us dollars by the sale of uh, the bricket through targeting households and um we received a grant from jangu international um, an organization based in uganda that uh, empowers youth um, to come up with social enterprises so it's this grant really helped us to generate, uh, to purchase raw materials, to do more market research, to improve on our product, and as well as improving on our packaging. We are asking for 15,000 US dollars that will help us to acquire improved machinery, build a solar dryer facility, as well as improving on our brand. And, um, we believe that through your support, we shall be able to reach out not only to households, also to restaurants, companies, and schools. And with your support, more trees will be saved, carbon emissions will be reduced, more lives of people will be improved. And we are looking forward to work together with you and towards reaching our vision of where the world a world where the planet, nature and people appreciate each other. Thank you.